Hello, everybody, Defense here, and welcome to another episode from our Survival Let's Play. We are here, set, and ready to go, and my god, does it feel good to fly. I am so happy that I can fly again. <laughs> One of the things, so if you guys did miss it, at the end of last episode, we finished building our first gate. Problem is, we, we only have a dirt bridge. I'm not very good at bridges. And we're not going to do bridges today, but there are a couple of things on this uh, gate area thing that I want to change out. Also, I still have no idea why that keeps happening, but I want to change out a couple of things on that. And then I want to maybe throw down a couple of walls so we can get some opinions from you guys on what you think the walls look like or other ideas you might have for said walls. So what I'm going to do is I need a little bit of that and a little bit of that because I want to see, did I, I'm, I don't think oak, I'm not thinking oak, but let me check out this. Let me see about changing these and maybe getting a couple of these. Let's just make a bunch of that. A little bit of that. Oh, I only made two of those. I needed a lot more than two. There we go. Eight. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to have to sleep in a second. But what I'm also thinking is a little, oh, that's the wrong one, that one right there. Maybe changing out part of something for that. Let's just sleep so we can go out there and not die. This looks really weird in my right hand. All right, where are we going? Right here. I hate when you wake up, you're not always facing the way you think you're going to face. It feels weird. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. It could just be me. Boom. All right, so what I want to do first is I want to look at changing these out for this, just to kind of differentiate between this piece and this piece. How was I doing that, 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 and that. I already kind of like it. It does add that extra bit of color. And then at the same time, swapping out all of these for spruce but let's get over here a bit i want to see how well that looks um i like it we'll have to see it does, it blends in a bit more like i'm fine with having this little overhang kind of stand out honestly I'm, I'm i'm good with that but i want to see how this stuff looks in a different color and honestly these ones here are probably going to end up getting changed to cobblestone but I'm just going to put that there for now just to see what it looketh like. Let's grab this, this, and this. All right, I'm just going to do part of this, so if I don't like it, I can easily change it back. Yoink. So, yeah, we're going to do this one and these ones. And just like this one side over here. Just to make it a bit easier and as i said if i end up not liking it it's easier to change back come on i'm gonna take down my pillar bloop, bloop, bloop. actually mm, all right let's run across here and check i'm just gonna be wasting rockets all the time which is gonna be a problem um I don't know. It does kind of make it stand out a bit more. And I do like it. Here I don't. I'm kind of I'm kind of in a pickle. Cuz the dark oak is too dark but the spruce is too light. Or the spruce just doesn't match in the same way that I thought it would. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to mess around with that personally. Let me grab some stuff so we can kind of put down a little bit of a wall for you guys to see what I'm going. This is going to seem like a very odd mix of items to have in my inventory, but trust me, it makes sense <laughs> with the grand scheme of things. So we're going to go to here. So the I'm going for kind of a, a wooden palisade kind of deal. I don't really know how it's going to look. Same thing. I, I, I haven't really planned much of this out at all. And I don't know how it's going to look. So as per usual, I'm kind of just like free forming stuff. 
And let's see, let's grab this. Oh yeah. I keep forgetting about that. No, nope, that's not the one I want. I want that one. Loop. Nope. Loop. There we go. I was like, I know there's a way to place it so that it goes in there. We're going to have to f worry about stuff coming down, but I'm thinking every once in a while throwing in like a, a stripped one, even just changing it up so it's not always the same. Maybe one, two, and then stripped, and then one, two. And another thing I'm looking to do, and I forgot to grab it, is similar to what we did over here. I actually want to put a little bit more here, but I want to have different bits of stone, cobblestone, and andesite just kind of piled up at the base. So maybe not necessarily always coming down the block, whereas this is here and doing, you know, just like blocks and stuff in the way. I'm not... Well, obviously, I'm not going to use that, but that's that's more often what I'm going to end up going for, at least I think. And then up top, every so often, we're going to have like a spike. Uh, actually, let's do it here. And then sometimes on said spikes, I want to have... Let me actually get up here. Got to place these at specific angles. Something like that. Let me see how that's going to look. That way you guys can get a better understanding. Let me just swing up here a bit, see if we can get a good view. And you can't really see it from here. Let's go down here. I don't 100% like it. It's an idea in my head. As I said, I'm going to have to play around with it. I like having just a little bit of that extra there. And it adds a little bit of something, something. Actually, it seems ever so slightly too bright. If I could get it in something other than oak, I think it'd look good. Oh, yeah. I, 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 want, I want stands in different colors. <laughs> uh, I'll have to look into that. But um, I don't know. I don't know. I like... The concept and I like the shape it's just the color is really off if I worked with oak I think it'd look better let me just build up a bit more of this wall in a more complete fashion so we can get a better idea on what I plan to have it look like I got a little carried away with the changes but I'm a lot happier with it now I like the cobblestone arch and throwing a little bit more cobblestone in here I think it's helped a lot it looks really weird only having the cobblestone roof like that build over there has the stone base and the cobblestone so that fit a lot better I think but over here just kind of looked weird so I added it you know I think it looks good I might add one more piece on top of that but as you'll see here I went back to the dark oak kept the spruce here and added spruce trap doors up top I'm not 100% sold on it being up there but something needs to be up there and I tried fence I tried fences I didn't like them um, I tried fence gates the the gap between them didn't look very well and I don't think any solid block is really gonna look good up there so I think that'll work I'm considering trying some of this but that high up I don't really want to go for that so I'm gonna have to play around with it a little bit more off camera let me know in the comments down below or join in our Discord, which is linked in the description. And feel free to share pictures of your build or build ideas that you might have just to maybe spruce this up a bit. The main goal here was to show you the wall. I don't know why I went over there. You can't really view it. We've added in a little bit. Actually, this did look pretty good from up over here. Let me get a little bit of height. Yeah, so you can now see the wall a bit better. It's going to be kind of ramshackle is not the right word, but if you've ever seen any movies or video games and such where they have just these wooden palisades, they just kind of, they're not 100% perfectly even all the time. Like, especially in like small outer villages, kind of like what this is planned to be. And I like the concept behind it. Varying up the fence posts, I think works works well too. I'm gonna try that a bit more. I tried it as singles and doubles and singles, and I like this section a little bit more. So I'm gonna stick with that, but we're also gonna run that stone. 
and this thing here is going to surround pretty much the whole island actually it's going to surround the whole island but in some spots it might kick back or kick out like here i kind of want to have a building that overhangs the edge by our docks area kind of like a, a warehouse with a ramp that goes down to where the docks are and everything and maybe one more gate i don't know if we're gonna have another gate so far it really only seems like the front or maybe like right here i was considering trying to do one diagonally across that set right there but i can't build diagonally <laughs> it it'd be a lot uh it'd be very tough for me i was thinking like right across there but i don't think that'll work for me so we might not end up doing any other gates. It might just be that one main gate and then just have the dock area on the other side. And those would be kind of the two entrances for the peoples of the land. Which is my, my pretty set idea, to be honest. Now that I'm thinking back on it, I think it'll be nice. But I have planned out a couple more builds for this outer area here that are literally just going to be builds. There's going to be no farms, no nothing. I just think it's going to look nice, so I want to end up doing that, but we're going to hold that off for a few more episodes. we got to get some more farms up and going, but what I am going to do now is hop on over to Twitch and do a quick live stream. If you guys haven't caught any of my live streams, I do stream on Twitch on Wednesday and Friday evenings, so we're going to hop over there, and today we're going to do a bit of end busting, so if you guys want to, obviously you'll miss it with this, which I apologize for. But if you guys want to catch streams in the future, as of right now, I'm doing Minecraft on Wednesdays as long as I have a project to do. And I'm doing Halo aside from that. Uh, wrapping up Halo 1 maybe this week. I think we're close enough to the end. And actually, Halo 2 comes out either... To, I think it's today. Yeah, I think the second Halo game comes out on PC today. So we'll be able to get that in afterwards. So if either of those games interest you guys, feel free to swing on over. As I said, twitch.tv slash defense 041 if you guys want to check out any live streams. But I am going to hop on over to that. And once we're done with that live stream, we'll come back and get a little bit more work done here. But we do have a slight change in plans on what we're going to do to wrap up today's episode. And that is instead... Of building the wall we're going to build a bridge so I went out and threw down a little bit of dirt just so I could kind of wrap this area down under a bit more which is something I'm gonna have to go and do all around this you know we, we can't have it being a, a little floaty bit there so this here has already been made to come down and I have a bridge idea that it's like half fleshed out, you know what I mean? I, I kind of threw a design together, grabbed my measurements here, and I, well, I take that back. I put up like two or three different designs in my creative world just to try and decide on what I wanted to do. And I have a good plan for it. I just need to go, we're gonna grab all our resources in a second, and it is gonna come through here. It's gonna be a simple two arch stone bridge, if that makes sense. It's the closest I could think of for a simple, like, Dark Ages style bridge. They were obviously very simple and very plain back then. Most of them were also very short. So that was something I had to play around with, um, looking for longer bridge designs for stuff that had been used, um, kind of period related to what we're doing for the rest of this. I forgot one piece. <laughs> And I always forget these, even though my storage room's right there. I just, I don't want to run for it. So what we're going to do uh, first is lay out a quick little bit of where the bridge is going to end up. This is not the block we're going to end up using up here, but I need to figure out where my bridge is going to line up. I'm pretty happy with the mix of block types that we're going to be using on this bridge. And I don't know how I never remember this. We have mossy cobble stairs. We just don't have mossy stone bricks. Uh, how long have we had these? For whatever reason, I completely forgot we had them and I've been complaining about them off and on for a while. And now I kind of feel like an idiot. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> All right, let's get this bridge in place. So it's going to be, as I said, it's most of the medieval bridges that I found, or at least that were still standing, 
uh, for longer one, there weren't very many long ones. A lot of them were just short bridges. This is also in the wrong spot. Which was a little bit hard to just find some inspiration for, but I ended up finding, uh, I think it was a castle bridge, or it led to like a fort-like area. And it really kind of, it really kind of resonated with me, you know what I mean? So I decided we're going to go with it, and that's what we're going to use. So if I look at this right... That there is going to be where our blocks have to sit. Now let me grab this piece here. And I wanted to do one, two, three, four, five. Check. So we're gonna put a block there and a block there. And what I have on my end is actually not that. So that's correct. There we go. I just need to do this, otherwise my pattern will be a little messed up. So if I counted this right, we should have all of this line up correctly all the way through to the back end here. But my counting, hey, my counting was actually correct that time. All right, that makes me happy. Oh, I don't have a bed over here. All right, we'll have to worry about that in a second. But this here is done. I'm actually going to use sandstone on top of this because I think that'll look better. And I also, as I said, have a pretty cool idea for it. Sorry about that little cut there, had to sleep. And also at the same time, me and building on camera don't always have the best uh, meld of minds. Sometimes my mind decides to work and thinks of interesting things to say. And other times, like right now, I'm just making up random stuff to say so I have something to say whilst we're building this bridge. <laughs> nah. But in all, serious in all seriousness though, guys, I do have a question on this. Do you guys enjoy seeing me build or would you rather see time lapses? And also, since I do design some of my stuff in creative beforehand, is that something you'd like to see? The you know the creative process, would you like to see uh, just kind of how I do things? You know what I mean? What I work with, how I do it, all that kind of stuff. So if that is something that interests you, please do let me know. It'll be very much appreciated. And if you guys do like it, I'll try and do it more. Um, if you guys don't want to see it again, you won't see it, you know, pretty simple, I'd say. So now we have to do a little bit of something, something here. And I'm going to, I have other bricks here, but I am going to start off using just straight up stone brick. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to replace it afterwards. Same thing with the cobble. I'm just going to put in the cobble and we'll just kind of deal with it afterwards. Boom, boom, boom. So this section here is actually going to be shorter. That's weird. Because this actually does go down one more. And in the main section, I actually have to change stuff up. Because where this is built, it's actually a pretty flat riverbed for the picture that I got this from. I don't even know where in the world it is or was. I don't even know if it's still around. But the picture that I got for this is pretty flat where it's placed. So this will look a little weird. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, especially right here. Huh. I don't know. I might dig back a little. I might leave it like this. I'm a little undecided. It does look a little weird. There we go. Much better. Much better. Much better. All right. So that's good there. And then the bend is similar in here. So we've got to go like this. One, two, three, and then we've got to drop back one to get that in. And this is one of the things that makes me so happy with modern Minecraft is this. I, there's so many things they've done in the game, but the concept of waterlogging things has been awesome. The thing I'm looking forward to next is I really hope they lava log stuff. So with the fact that we can, they've overhauled the nether and we get a lot of cool stuff to do in the nether now. I would love if they made it so we could do what I just did with water in lava. It'd make a lot of weird things happen, but I think it'd be really, really fun to play with. At least me personally. There's probably people who are for it and other people who are against it, but I think it'll be awesome. That seems way too close. There we go. And I figured out where I went wrong. I forgot that on this end, I went just to my count and not one extra, whereas this one, I went one extra. And that's where I kind of messed my stuff up, because I counted from this one, not from this one, and that's why they were too close. 
which makes sense to my brain, but probably not to anything else that's going on until you see what's going on. So we need to go Legaso. This is also a lot easier to build. Uh, one, when you're not in water, and two, building it from the top down is a lot more work than the bottom up. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there. You know, like, not normally how I build my stuff. So most of the ones that I had found that were kind of stone designs like this all had these little, the best way I can describe it, they kind of look like small gatehouses on the side. And I don't actually know what they do. Uh, I'm going to try and research it because I am genuinely curious now, but it's not really important to what's going on here. But I do really want to know why they do that and what it does. But it does seem really cool for what they did. So I'm going to keep them and it's going to be cool. They don't, As I said, this thing here was on a flatter river bottom. So this might look a little weird. And I don't really know where I'm going to go. Actually, you know what? I just had an idea on what we can do from here. We're just going to do this. Actually, we can even just do this. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Obviously, same as everywhere else, this will get changed to cracked and mossy as needed. Should just change that piece out. And I think that one will end up being covered up, so that might work. Let's see. Do I like it? Maybe it does look a, a slight bit odd compared to what I have on my other monitor. This is the downside for certain builds like this. Working with cobblestone, it all kind of blends together shape-wise when I'm just looking at pictures of it. It's again because I can't count. <laughs> I don't know if I kept that part in there, but I messed up a little bit on the bottom. And it felt weird, but we did it. So one of the things I might do is I might end up flaring out the bottom a bit just to kind of fix it. But I think right now this will work. So as I said, we got that, we got that. But yeah, the only thing I'm not 100% on is this piece down here. It seems too spindly. Maybe once we get both sides of this bridge together, it'll mesh. But right now, it's really not meshing. But speaking of the other side of the bridge, let me get that put together so we can see what this looks like when it's pretty much done. Building this while being able to fly makes it so much easier to build, especially now that I'm building it over water. <laughs> Not a complaint, but an observation. You know, if you're building creative and then hop into survival, you guys understand. It feels weird having this open now that I've built some of this in. I'm really going to have to go through and do it. I might do that for next Wednesday's stream. I think that's what we'll do. Unless I do it beforehand. But we now have the main part of our bridge built up here. Played around with this a bit. I added that little cap down the bottom there. I actually really like it, so I think that helps a lot. But there's still a little bit of something something that needs to be done down there. I didn't put the little hut on the other side yet, but we'll be able to play around with that in a minute. Yeah, it's, it's just all open on this side. <laughs> this here was nice. It extends down to here now. We'll have to dig this out to fill it in. But I, I always have... Uh, not trouble with bridges, but I always feel mine don't fit. And this is probably the second time I've ever built a bridge, which I think the first time was the first modded series I ever did way back um, with a group of guys I used to game with. I think that series is still up. I can't remember. I might have streamed it, but that's probably the only other time where I did a bridge that I liked. But so far, this is this this is another bridge that I'm very happy with and I feel is going to fit the area real nicely. So what we have to do now to make it fit even more is to start filling it in with all of the cracked and mossy stuff along with the smooth. Whoop. That go there. Just to make it look a bit better. Is it almost night again? It, for whatever reason, the days seem to fly by in Minecraft right now. And I personally do not know why. They just... They're just hauling across the sky. That's sun. He's just like, not nah, we out. And I don't know why. Whoop, that's a little bit deeper than I thought. All right. So we're just going to kind of hop around, throw some bits in. I want to do a little bit more cracked than mossy, just because I feel that'll look a little bit better. Does this go here or there? I think it goes like that. Yeah. 
Oh, I was going to say I'm already very happy with it, but I just noticed I missed a spot. Boom, boom. Let's go irregular and we'll go cracked. But it just adds so much. I still have to go through and do these too, but having it just get its own thing going is pretty nice. I, I've always liked this. I When I first started playing, I wasn't really much of a builder, but I did love building stuff with the cra with the bricks and when i first started these two bricks you couldn't craft them you could only find them at strongholds so you'd have to go and mine out like a whole stronghold just so you could go through and make everything look nice you know that was one of the happier days in relation to minecraft is when they went and said you know what you guys can start crafting this stuff i was like yes and then when they made it so you could find mossy cobble in the world, I think that was pretty cool. I don't actually go and mine it as often as I should. You know, it would probably be a lot more helpful if I went over to a taiga biome and just started tearing out boulders. But it kind of works like this, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, I just took those out and replaced them with the exact blocks. All right, hold on. Boom. And boom. But yeah, we're going to go through and kind of mess everything up now I think is the best the best way I can think to describe it yep that's it I I'm very happy with this <laughs> this came out far and gone better than I thought I, I still think it's a little thin at the bottom but I did play around with it to kind of expand it out I wrapped the base of this little hut thing around it and I kind of like it as I said though it's still I might just bring up the dirt another layer or two, kind of about this height here, and maybe wrap it around just a little bit, just to build it up a little more. And I actually want to dig back some of this. I'm undecided. I want to make it so that smaller like canoes and stuff will be able to fit under here, because I want this to actually seem like a working area. You know what I mean? Like I want to see, I want it to seem like it's actually supposed to function. You know what I mean? And not just hang out and do nothing kind of deal. Because I have ideas for ships. Um, oh well, boats. This area is not big enough for ships. But I have ideas for boats. And actually, there was a tutorial put out a week or two ago by a buddy of mine, uh, for you 2 NV Pro. If you guys remember my Planecraft days, he was one of the guys from that server there. He's been doing a few build tutorial videos lately, which have actually been pretty good. And the most recent one he did was actually planning a village. And I actually pulled a couple of good points from that. So if you guys want to check out any of that stuff, feel free to check them out. Um, you know, I'm just going to link him in the description. Why not? I'm going to link him in the description so you guys can check out his stuff. Because I am going to pull a couple of his build tutorials forward. Because they've helped me out a lot. Uh, he did one on trees, but the ship one, honestly, is the one that really helped me the most. I have always struggled with ships. I've struggled with them so much, I think I've only ever put one down in all of my time making videos and streams in relation to Minecraft. And I still didn't really like it. <laughs> it just looked like a big fat blob of wood on the water. And I wasn't happy with it. But from watching his, little, uh, watching his tutorial there, I feel I've got a better grasp on it. So we'll be able to do something with that, which makes me very happy. But with those last two pieces of wood that I just put down there, that should be our bridge done. Yes, I think that's a little bright. I still like it, though. I didn't want it to be all stone, and I didn't want to use wood in there. I might add a couple more wood pieces on the side just to build it up a little more but the whole bridge is spawn proof except for the inside which i just remembered that i have to go and put torches in and i have to put some stairs over here after doing this up i had remembered that to make it look a little more beat up i could put stairs in yeah this one could use a little more but it just kind of adds a little bit more depth to the damage actually there's a couple of spots that just didn't use stairs at all but yeah i'll play around with this a little bit more off camera see what we can do with it make it look nice and fancy and I'm just all around happy with it. It does seem real bright though coming up to this. I might have to change it out for wood or maybe andesite and stone brick slabs. Because I think that might mesh well with this. I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with that off camera. But 
that is going to be it for today's episode. I am sadly out of time. Um, I am permanently, go well, I say permanently, for the time being, I'm going to be pushing these episodes back to Friday releases rather than Thursday releases, just so that I can get a little bit of work done in streams on Wednesday, just to kind of help push some things along more, because I feel like I'm a little stalled on the the week episode like the episodes during the week and i'm kind of bummed which also means i might move our monday to tuesday so i have more time in between so we might do tuesday friday rather than wednesday thursday let me know if that works better for you guys um if it doesn't matter to you so on and so forth whatever whatever opinion you have on the process of us releasing episodes but with that i want to thank you for stopping in I hope you did enjoy, and if you did enjoy, please do let me know with a like and maybe even a comment down below answering any of the questions I may have asked today. But uh, yeah, I hope you all have a nice night, day, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. This is my defense. I hope to see you again soon. Peace.